Hey, what is good my friends? Welcome back. So today we're going to be playing Warzone 3 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Warzone on the Asus G16 and we're also going to test out the new ray tracing technology because there is actually ray tracing technology enabled plus path tracing and we're just going to see how good that performs now. We have set the quality to extreme settings it says custom because i switched a few things around even higher and we're going to be playing at 1200p we'll also try without dlss you know what in fact let's just start off without dlss get that enabled always take some time to disable dlss there we go now the path tracing technology i am really curious about I don't think my team is going to be happy with me. Let's go somewhere near water. Where are we going? Uh, it looks when I get that one. Right, let's go over here. So this is native extreme settings. Nobody's hunting me. I'm faster with my pistol. Now, I just noticed each time I start a game, there is a little, little bit of hiccups. It's not too bad. But the game is definitely more playable when we enable DLSS. So let's, let's enable. Oh, we still have to lay down. So DLSS set to quality, like that. Give it a second to load in. And gotta stay down for a second. We have significantly increased our performance, also the smoothness. And I think we're currently playing in boost mode. Let's see. Silent performance turbo. Let's just go play turbo mode. I still do notice a little hiccups here and there and especially in the beginning of the game I just booted up this laptop updated and generally the first game just it's a little little hiccupy but yeah I really want to I really want to turn this slider on okay let's do path tracing oh my god path tracing technology quality Okay. Okay, so what, what I don't feel like something changed. So Rico strokes, RTX on the cards, in game performance. Gunsmith. Activate if you path training the ray tracing real dynamic in the gunsmith fire range and lobby screens. So in Warzone, it doesn't actually do anything. I did enable it in the menu and my FPS just dropped like by half. But I don't see any use for it when you're, when you're playing a competitive shooter because it significantly reduces the performance. Probably make it very hard to aim. I'll take that one thank you very much now how do you guys like my new camera quality i am currently using my new lumix gh6 and trying to improve the performance of the of the channel video wise i've always been doing with a phone and now i really got a dedicated camera oh that would have been such a good kill with a knife
that dude is dead serious about killing us. Oh, I'm going to use this one. I think I did hit him. Let's get our little teammate out here. Now, as you can see, the stutters went away. Now the line is, is good. I think my mate just got annihilated. There you go. I think I got two, didn't I? No, the other, <laughs> they shot each other. Basically sniping with this weapon, jeez. Look. Somebody's dropping in. Yeah. Bad mistake, my friend. Bad mistake. There is no escaping the Tyrial. Uh, yeah, so... Ray reconstruction honestly doesn't do anything. Let's see what happens if we enable frame generation. So this sometimes takes some time to load in. So we get some more FPS. Oh my god. We have more FPS, but there is there is some kind of a Oh, jeez, I just got slapped in the face. Oh, my God. Yeah, you do not want to turn frame generation on, even though that gives you more FPS. It just increases, like, input latency. It's like you're skating on ice. It's not pleasant at all. So let's turn it down to low settings, just minimal. Some people really love low settings. Let's put this to balanced, like that. We're dead, but I'll show you in the different person. But that does, so you really get some good frames, but the GPU is not fully utilized. So I hope this video was useful. Leave the like if you did. And you know what? Let's go to the menu and let's just go to the gunsmith and see what frame or what the... Um, ray tracing thing does. Okay, so over here, you wanna up the settings. Wait, you gotta do it like this. There exists no extreme path tracing technology that is enabled. Okay, firing range. <laughs> okay, wow. Oh my god, that Look at that. Let's inspect the weapon. Oh, that looks really cool. I don't know if you can tell, but the performance is like half. But like the lights. Jeez, Louise. Also, like the reflections on the gun, they look much better. It's much more realistic, but there is so much input lag. It's also a lot harder to see. Like, there's real lighting there. It's that dark. You look at the shadows there. This is like a, feels like a simulation. That's a shotgun. We can snipe with that material. 
All right, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.